Welcome back, Mario fans. We're back with the 70 Star Open Emulator S Division. And I'm the Mr. Wah, back again, joined with me this time with Shisley. Yo, how's it going, everyone? Pretty excited for this. We got two pretty epic runners that are really, really close in PB, I'm just realizing. Yeah, there's like 19 seconds between it. It's... Woo! And we also have both runners here with us. Um, we've got Doff and Katnik. I hope I've spelled, said both of your names right. Um, Doff, how are we feeling? Hello. I'm feeling pretty good. I've been, I haven't, haven't been playing Mario this week, but um, I practiced before this race, like um, upstairs RTA, and did pretty okay. So I, hopefully, I can get it in the race. Awesome. And Katnik, how are you doing? It's me, Mario. Oh, pretty good. Um, yeah, I'm excited to race again. Uh, my last race was pretty fun, but I was like super rusty. So I'm hoping to do, hoping to do a little bit better this time. Yeah, I mean it's you interesting. Just have fun with it, you know. Because both of you have came up against people that um, have currently just raced earlier today. So Dolph, obviously, you were unfortunate enough to be beaten by Tabby Storm, and then Katnik, you were obviously bested by Sonic Gordon. Um, so, do you guys feel a bit more confident in this race than you did in the last one? Uh, I mean, yeah. <laughs> uh, I mean. I'm still quite rusty. Like all my practice runs have been not great, so we shall see. But yeah, but yeah, I mean, if I'm they the have a one. yeah, it's just no, the, the, the nerves. It's just way too much. <laughs> the nerves. Yeah, yeah I get gosh. That. That's why, like, I fear Womp's Fortress so much in races. Like, ah, oh, I'm like, I'm so nervous in that stage. Ah, uh, reset simulator. Yes. Um, well, Shisley, I'll leave it to you if you've got any other questions for the runners, and if not, get them ready. No, I think you got them all covered up there, so if both runners want to go ahead and ready up in the race time room, and we can get this underway. Make sure your files are deleted, that's pretty important. Some say it is one of the most important things. Alright, ready up. All right, and once the race is confirmed and starting, you guys can go ahead and mute and or deafen. Yeah, good luck to Do both runners. Intro. Good luck. Good luck. I think we're going to be off here in a couple it's seconds. Hello. Epic. Uh, uh, wait. wait. Oh. oh, hang on a moment. Okay. Princess, Looks like we have um, some sorry, issues. I should, just click, just click the thing. Oh, uh, should, we should we reset? If you're both happy enough to, we can do a reset. Yeah, okay. absolutely. Hopefully your production didn't go AFK. I mean, I guess I could set up a race time room if needed, but... I'll wait and see. Whilst this is going on, remember guys, there was a prediction in your chat. I hope you got your predictions in whilst we wait for all of this to get sorted out. Um, also, I'm gonna yeah. I, I, I'm gonna promote this here. We <clears throat> we oh. have a, a donations for the SM64 League. So if you guys want to donate, uh we we're supposed to read your chat messages. Uh wait, hold up. Uh, 70 League is the command. Okay, so if you guys want to donate, go ahead and go to the 70s. Uh, right. <laughs> Matt <Matcherino>. Um <laughs> Okay, um, both runners, if you just make sure you get your live split set to zero seconds, please. And both confirm with me. Once that is done, we'll be doing a verbal countdown. Okay. okay. Just let me know when you're ready. I'm ready. Uh, oh, one second. All right, I'm ready. All right, so if both of you are ready, you when I say go, that's when you'll start. So, so if you are both ready, three, two, one, go. Good luck to both of you. Yes, good luck. Again. It's me, Mario. 
Uh, always important to wish luck on these runners. I'll be the wisdom watermelon today. I'll take that. All right, looks like we have a clean start from both of them. Let's go. Yes, and here we are once again. Two copies of the most watched opening cutscene on Twitch. Is it actually? There's no way it isn't. <laughs> you know what? Fair enough. When you have runners like Ouija, <laughs> simply like those, those big boys and cheese. Uh, not to be, just GSA as well and CCG. Like when you have all of these like organizations in large like communities, I refuse to believe that it's not most watched. I have definitely watched this cutscene in a five-digit figure. I think personally, I probably watched it in a five-digit figure. Just That's what I mean. Yeah. <laughs> just like personally, I don't even want to count the amount of times I've probably watched it like while watching runs. All right, let's see if we get some clean lack of two skips. That's what we want to see. We got There's one from Duff and another one from Cat. Epic. Yeah, Cat's was slightly less clean because didn't quite have the angle towards the door, but that's okay. Minuscule time, up 0.5 of a second. Yeah, that's it. And now, if Cat had missed it, that's a different story. Ah, yes. Then again, sometimes in these races, those milliseconds uh, add up. Yeah, remember, these PBs, 19 seconds apart, and that, even more so, means nothing in the format of a race. Candy having some issues there with the bomb clip. We'll be going for the post instead. And don't worry, we'll keep you posted on if that works out. That names are hurting my head right now. I don't like that. <laughs> <laughs> That hurts. Here we go. Anyway, so slide from uh, Doff here. Uh, slide prediction. Let's go, Wa. Let's hear this. Uh, thirteen one and a thirteen. No, thirteen one and a twelve nine. Thirteen one and a twelve nine. You know what? I think one of these runners is gonna pull off a twelve seven. Uh, it's not gonna be Doff. Yep. Um. <laughs> well, both of us would be incorrect about this one. Uh, I don't know what my next prediction was. It's gonna be, but it, I didn't. When it say it's about fifteen. Well, I'm gonna say this is a twenty point eight now. Uh, twenty one point seven. Oh no, actually slowing down for the twenty one there, which is the wise thing to do. Would have got there below twenty one seconds. For those who don't know, if you're in this situation where you mess up on that slide, you want to make sure you are just slightly slower than twenty one seconds, so you don't spawn that other star, which will give you even more time loss. Yeah. They're having a, a huge amount of faith in these runners here with a uh, 12.9 and a 12.8. I mean, it's definitely not out of the question for these runners, but uh, definitely a, kind of a bold prediction here. Yeah, both runners opting for a Womps 9 routing as well. We love to see it, apparently. Yep, based. Apparently. I mean, it does save a second, so. Yeah, oh, getting a nice texture set up from Dove. Off, not connecting. Ooh, what we thought was a nice texture setup. All right, we cut. And just wops 100. Just having issues there, getting up there, and it's impressive to see. Now remember, guys, these are S tier runners, so we should be seeing some fun tips, tricks, and shenanigans all along the way. If I don't see double plus, I'm going to cry tonight. Um, well, I'm sorry to break your heart. Uh, you're going to have to cry and water those eyes. Yeah, that's all right. I just wanted a reason to. <laughs> yeah, both runners are CCM 18s. Um, oh, Doc trying to go for that interesting back up there to get up. Oh, no. Oh, I can't see. Neither can Cat. But Cat pulled it back nicely. Grab the. You're going for a bit of plank push. I just learned what that was called today. Still not right. connecting. Didn't go for the Ooh. setup. Did they just plank push and then back flip? Yeah, they didn't. They didn't. Um, they didn't check. Uh. Oh, are we going for? Okay. Interesting because I believe this now gives Katnik the lead. Possibly. Yeah, it oh, definitely. Well, now, yeah, for sure. Yeah. Okay, so the biggest trick I find, because I do this, like, exact setup, 
is that okay well they're going for texture again gets it Yay! finally but uh my trick is is try to make sure you're far enough away from the plank if you're right next to the plank a lot of the time it won't work if you're further away then it'll work and yo tss the single star goat comes in a raid with 34 people pretty epic welcome in Imagine some probably more uh, carpetless attempts. All right, we're going for another texture setup here from Katnik. Here we go. I'm not having next. as many problems. Yeah, this is very interesting now because so Doff is now doing the hundred coins and reds. Kanik's already done it and is one star ahead at this point. Um, arguably a much bigger lead than we first thought, considering the length of time that Womp's Hundreds is. It's not just a one star difference now. It's going to be a two star difference, maybe even three. As long If Doff doesn't mess it, make any mistakes on the 100 coins, it's going to be about a two star lead for Kanik. Yeah. Well, actually, no, because we got the Womp battle, so one and a half star lead. One and a, how did you gauge the half star? I gauge the half stars based on the longest stars of the game, um, and then compare okay. it against the amount of stars they've got left to get. So sometimes you'll hear me say, like, they're two stars ahead, yet the count will only show one, and that's just because they've gotten longer stars and they've only got shorter stars left. Okay. Up. That was actually a really clean 100 coins. It was a very clean 100 coins. <laughs> it's just going to be, yeah, it's going to be a one star, just uh, just over a one star difference. Both runners are doing Womps 9. Apparently it's based. Always. Yeah, this commentator only learned last week what based even meant, so. Dang, you old. I am old. <laughs> <laughs> It's okay, I heard you earlier today that uh, apparently you're too old to say what's up, homie. Yeah. I know, it was sup, homie. Sup, homie. <laughs> <laughs> you're really not that old. I mean, eh, In, well, inside, inside I am. Inside you are? <laughs> I'm dead inside. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, once night done by Cat Neek. And then. Doff still has one star to go, climbing that top of that tower. Katnik is now going to go do that second slide. All right, I think we're going to see a spicy 12-8. You know what? For once, I'm not going to be the villain. I'm gonna yeah? Bless. I'm going to bless. I don't have enough to curse, so... <laughs> oh, wait. Oh, oh, taking that no. bonk. It's unfortunate, That's but not the end of the world. 14-2? Oh, wow. I was waiting. Oh, yeah. So it's a right, you bonk. So you're getting above stick. a 14-5. <laughs> I'm going to uh, remain quiet for the rest of this run. Uh, so Mr. Watt now has the complete uh, four. He can say whatever he wishes, obviously within CCG guidelines. I told you guys that I would eventually take control. This is my channel now. Oh, the, oh I, <laughs> that voice. <laughs> <laughs> Katnik going in to do the wing cat. Let's see if Doff can get a decent um, slide oh. here. I'm going to guess a 13-3. Just because I think they're going to go a bit safe. Um, they're going to go a bit safer. Oh, maybe not. Oh, hello. Let's see. 12-9? It's a 13-1. Oh, yeah. Looks like it glitched by 0. 0.2 seconds, though. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Like you thought this was gonna be a 12 9. Psych! Um. Dang, everyone's blessing runs. I'm gonna be the outcast, I'm not gonna bless the run. I'm gonna be that guy. Ugh. I'll just. I, I think while saying it, the SMO race was going on. And I left for like 10 minutes after cursing a run. I came back 10 minutes later, and the first thing I hear is my name. Oh, <laughs> and I was like, "All right, I'm I'm the villain now. That's how it's gonna be." <laughs> Very interesting run up to the button there from Cat Neek, though. Mm -hmm. Took a jump dive there. I don't think I've ever seen that. I think, especially when you get to that button, there's a moment of panic. Like some people will uh, just not know what to do. Some people take a jump dive to try. It. Some people will even just intentionally get burnt. Yeah. 
Um, apparently, that's the least popular option that people go for in Tenji. I, I mean, can't really blame it, but... He's just gonna... Oh, just gets that cycle. Oh. Barely whipped out the normal cycle there. That was that was close. That was. Alright. Doff getting a nice setup here. Looks like it's gonna be a possible Shigeru cycle. Never oh, mind. No. It's uh, a death in Dark World! Alright, so uh, Squeak's at it again. Um... Mm. I'd like to point out, a few races ago I said I'd love to see some deaths in Dark World. It seems that has carried over to this race. Uh, that's that's carried over to all your races today. Yeah. yeah you said it once and it's just kind of happened on every race you've commentated, so... Yeah, it's, so it's given Katnik a very strong lead at this point. Yes. Um, oh no. Getting amped up for the next bit of the race. Love to see it. You don't, but you do. Um, <laughs> you love seeing them get amped up, but you don't like seeing them get amped. Ah, yes, that was it. My apologies. <laughs> um, I'm very excited to see how Wing Cap's going to go for Katnik now. And I hope Doff has a very nice clean Bowser throw and not a bonk into a wall. Yeah. I mean, uh, Sky Jump is arguably the easiest hard star. It's not a very hard star, but, uh... Well, no, it's not a necessarily a hard star, but it's definitely far from easy sometimes. Yeah, no, absolutely. And, ooh, very, very beautiful sky jump there from uh, Katnik. Oh, Doff with the Miss Bowser throw. Don't worry, they were just setting up for a closer throw. Oh, 100%. Gotta play it safe, right? Absolutely, absolutely. Right. Cat headed into CCM. Doff, oh, probably hoping for a full meltdown here. I think mean, this moment in time, you know, it is one CCM. Yeah, it's one bad wall kick star away to very much close up this gap here. Um, yeah, hundreds plus penguin race. Yeah, I suppose you got the hundreds plus penguin race. That, wow. Kanik was very, very far away from the uh, mm -hmm. edge there. But yeah, if Katnik doesn't make a mistake on the hundreds and penguins, um, Doff's main chance of being able to catch up won't be until SSL now. Wow. <laughs> That's uh, really far away. Oh, SS. I completely heard that as SL for some reason. I was thinking Snowman's Land. So I'm like, yeah, no. wow, that's a, that's a bold statement of consistency coming from Mr. Wa. Oh, yeah, no, no. It, it's, <laughs> it, if 100 coins and Penguin Race goes well for Katnik, the gap cannot be closed up until SSL. A, the yeah. only other thing that could go wrong is a mansion fall down in BBH. That's the only other thing that could close up the gap that drastically. Or we have a, a, a very uh, severe case of slippery mips. Well, so I'm hoping these runners know that if they don't get MIPS straight away, the sensible thing to do would be to get MIPS on their way out of Lethal Lava. True. And you'd think at this stage, you'd think these runners would be aware of that. Yeah, well, you never know. I feel like even as long as I've been commentating this game, I'm learning bunch of new stuff every single time I hop in the booth. Oh yeah, absolutely. Um, and speaking of in the booth, um, I'm going to need to take the reins for just a minute. I'll be right back. Uh, well, uh, Mr. Wa completely misunderstanding what taking the reins means. Oh, unless he said I need you to take the reins, which that would make sense. Which I imagine that's probably what he said because he that's definitely what he said. Anyway, we're going to carry on from this. Um, ooh, can he miss in the red coin there? Very unfortunate to miss. Dolph now on his way to make the... Ooh. Missing two coins at the very start there. Sorry about that. Yep, grabbing the blue switch star. 
or blue switch coins to make up for that uh, Mr. Blue coin. Hey, if it makes you feel There's any better, coin. there are stars on those coins, so you didn't make any mistakes. It's all good. Uh, you know what? To be fair, that, that's fair enough. Also, when you said, uh, when, when you left, did you say you needed me to take the reins, or did you say I'm taking the reins? I said I need you to take the reins because for some okay. my UK phone started ringing and I was very confused. Uh, oh? Oh, no! That's gonna be a. You got a jump kick back there. I don't. I don't think you can long jump that far. Oh yes, you can. Oh. Okay. Well. Uh, well, that was not a yeah. long jump, but definitely. You a have good to triple. You have to triple jump. No. There. This. See, you oh, mentioned dear. messing up hundreds and penguin. I meant for Cat Meek, okay? It's okay. What is Doff gonna do here now? Um, Doff did the, didn't get the backup red. We'll get the red, do 100 coin, and then I would guess, go back up the top, get the penguin, bring it down. Yeah. And then I do guess, penguin yeah, race you, oh, running. Yeah, if you do not know Pillarless, then this is probably the most viable backup. Mm-hmm. Oh, we'll just go straight into the race again. Yeah, also as a possibility. I suppose the other way you would have to do the race again, so why not? Well, yeah, I suppose. Um, right, so yeah, Katnik here. This is the one, this is where time could have been saved um, to close up the gap there already was, but the gap is now increased, obviously. Ah, uh, yes. It looks like it's going to be a clean connection there on that Boo's head. That Boo has an extra boo-boo. Uh, I... <sighs> I need to take a second sometimes when commentating with you. I get that a lot. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no, sorry. Yeah, sorry about my disappearance. It's a bit weird when it's 9 o'clock a.m. EST, which is 2 o'clock in the morning in the UK. And my UK phone rings. That's probably really scary. Yeah, I mean, it would have been if I was in the UK. <laughs> that would be like, it's 2 in the morning, who's calling me? Now I was just like, it's 9 in the evening, who's calling me? I went, oh, hang on a minute. <laughs> that's not that's not the phone I use while I'm here. Yeah, nice clean penguin from Doff there. I don't and... like those camera angles. <laughs> No, I know. I know. We just gotta deal with it. I don't wanna deal with it. <laughs> I'd oh. rather complain, it's more fun. I mean that is very true. Let's see if Candy <laughs> will get a clean MIPS grab. Ooh. Yep. Yoinks the MIPS. Lovely! 9 p.m. here in Toronto. 9 p.m. here in Southwest Ontario. I'm not going to name specifics because I live in a very remote area. <laughs> All right. Okay. An entire BBH separates these two runners. BBH and a MIPS grab. Which, in the grand scheme of things, is about two and a half minutes. Um, maybe Tama attempt there from Cat Meek? Very unfortunate not getting it. He's going to back it up. I'm guessing we're top of the pyramid at this point, just because of the slope. No, still going to go for um, Klepto. Okay. That Klepto on that pillar right there can be minorly annoying sometimes. Minorly and majorly annoying. Yeah, depending on the day. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, we're going to get another pillarless attempt here whilst Doff isn't doing BBH. Just as a reminder, guys, whilst Doff is finishing off BBH, um, we do have the Pro League that will be happening after the Open is finished, and you can help contribute to the prize pool. Oh, that's a very unfortunate failed um, plus there again from Cat League, going for the second backup. But yeah, you can help donate to the cause. We currently have $420, <coughs> which is an amazing amount earned. Um, and if you guys have any spare change, come stick it in, help out support these runners. It would be absolutely fantastic. And as I learned, we are reading out all the messages. So put the funniest message um, gets a prize. I don't know what the prize is yet. It's probably just going to be a well done you. But... <laughs> yeah, I mean, well, uh, 
unfortunately the uh, 420 69 funny number it was recently ruined but if we get enough generous people maybe we can get up to 69,420 69,420 not just you were mentioned four hundred and twenty thousand. you were mentioned at 420,000 earlier I was mentioning 4,200 oh <laughs> All right, Catnik well, going to show to... I have more faith in this community. Well, yeah, I guess. Catnik choosing to ride the shell instead. Um, is Doff going to get a pillarless? Now, if Doff gets this pillarless, it will close up the gap. Not by much, but it is going to close up the gap a bit. So, uh, the, uh, yeah, there it is. The other two stars are nice and quick. I know Lethal Lava Land's also quick, so we probably won't see much of that time save have much of an effect until we hit DDD. Yes. Also, who, who, who's going to tell the chatters that bits don't go towards the prize pool? Bits do not go towards the prize pool. Okay, so Waz going to tell the chat. Um... Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll rip that band-aid right off. <laughs> um... LLL was mean earlier. LLL was very mean earlier. We've seen... Oh my do you remember gosh. my race where I fell off the volcano twice? Yes. Yeah, we've seen some more volcano fall offs just like that. Ah, uh, happens. Yeah, it happens. It um, truly is the MJ. I'm gonna say MJ so I don't get confused. It's MJ Wah. I know. I'm just gonna say MJ though. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, my reaction was gonna be triple kill. Sorry, carry on. <laughs> Almost a quadruple kill. Unfortunately, that quadruple was going to be Mario. <laughs> <laughs> All right, a two-star difference here in Lethal Lava Land. It can go away real quick in the volcano, though. It can go away very quickly in that volcano. <laughs> I've seen it happen one too many times. I've, I've looked at one too many times. <laughs> And if you want to um, see a great load of people having issues in the volcano um, and you missed out on some of the previous matches where it's happened, you can go check it out on the CCG YouTube channel. Oh, no, please. Oh, what a nice okay. recovery there. Um, exclamation oh, mark yeah. YouTube in the chat to be sent to the CCG YouTube. I hear they produce really good content. Um, yeah. Uh, not just here. I've seen it myself. Oh, there's the rollout. And there's, so, uh, the, <laughs> I, I see what you did that. there. <laughs> 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 but yes, you can go sub to the YouTube, uh, there, uh, with the correct chat command. Um, um, and so, okay. Um, can, can we delete I'm that working message? On it. I'm working on it. Okay. <laughs> Oh, I can't. Someone else has to do it. For some reason, my oh. mod view doesn't allow me to delete the message. Uh, if you just click on their name, you should be able to quickly remove. It should say delete message somewhere. Ah, uh, there we go. That, that fixes it. Ah! Well, that, that works too. There we go. There should be a purge one for like one second. I'm I'm old. I've only just found this one. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> All right. Lethal Lava Land doing Lethal Lava Land things, not being the kindest to these runners. Yeah, now it's just one star difference. Oh my gosh. That is an interesting booty burn over there. I usually go onto the platform and then long jump over. Techniques just like, I'm just going to hop over the entire level over to the red coins. Yeah, um, um, you go straight over the sign and you just hop uh, straight over into it. Yeah, I do that. Did it? Doff already. I thought Doff did already do this one. What? No, Doff didn't do this one. Hello? I could have sworn that was on the right screen, right? Like, I'm not crazy. I, th I think we're both being crazy. 
it's too late for this. <laughs> Alright, just a one star difference now. It's not a big lead anymore. No, not a super big lead, which is. Oh, I do believe Doff got Lava Boost. Doff did, yes. Whereas okay. Candy didn't. That's why the lead is short. But to put it into perspective, um, Doff is still two minutes behind their PB. Interesting. I can't I feel see like, how uh, there's... far Catnik is because they're. I'm guessing they're going. They're going off the average second. Ah so. uh, yes. Here we go. I have a really big urge to yawn, but I don't want to yawn. <laughs> I, don't I don't know what else to talk about as they go through like dire dire dogs. Like, I feel like the only thing you can talk about is if a mistake is made. Dire Dire Dox is slow and boring. Because as we know, Dire Dire Dox, we all know Dire Dire Dox. After this, we will have one more 70 star matchup. And then, remember guys, over the weekend, we still have some fantastic content. On Saturday, starting from 5pm UTC, we will be having a mostly Odyssey day with a little bit of 70 star mixed in. And then on Sunday, our schedule starts at 7pm. So, and that is mostly... 70 star with a little bit of odyssey sprinkled in so we've got a lot of content over the weekend so make sure you're following the ccg channel by clicking that little heart button um if you're not doing so already so you can always get notified when we get live yeah it's uh, pretty epic but also you, can, you should also follow the runners they're pretty epic. I do it every single time. <laughs> Did I? Oh, nope. Okay, so I think I did the command correctly. I just, my dyslexia kicked in. Lovely. <laughs> All right. Canique is going to be making their way into Fire Sea. Uh, if you're loving the entertainment that's being put out as well, then uh, feel free to follow the cause. I hear they're uh, pretty okay people. Yeah, I hear if you follow all runners, comms, and CCG, uh, CCG um, it statistically makes you 7% more attractive. So. I mean, you know what? To be fair, if you're at like a 93% attractiveness, then that's all you need for perfection. Oh, Catnik taking no. that elevator up. Yeah, I was going to say jump back down. Yeah, it's all you can do at this point. And you have to go for that other red coin because you've got that time spare. Now again, it's things like that that are going to close up the gap and make this race a little, little bit closer. Very, very true. But good luck. And the ground pen. <laughs> and oh, no. the bonk for... Bad luck. I thought I was running out of things to say there. Uh, That's fair. <laughs> Ooh, nice long jump. Ooh, Doff getting a bit unfortunate there on that angle there. But we covered it quite nicely. Yeah. Fire is just not going Catnik's way. No. Don't, please. Nah, it's okay. That's fine. I thought there was going to be a Fire Seed there. Um, I got excited, but it's okay. No one died. Um... um don't ask why I was you excited it, about it. <laughs> you heard it here first that uh, death excites Mr. Wah. Only in Bowser stages. Only in Bowser stages? What about a nice TTC to make the clo um, race close, though? Nah, but a rainbow ride off that triple jump. Oh, I love seeing those. When they play. I can't agree with that because it's happened way too many times to me. Mm. Okay, now with this, the lead has closed up. Doff is going to be getting the Fire Sea Star as Katnik is going to be taking that dive down towards that hot, hot lava. Nice clean throw. A Bowser fight separates the runners. Oh, this turned into Star separating these runners to, uh, well, a, a, a one single fight.
Oh yeah, pole grabs are weird on the Switch version. You can't like um, hover on the top. Doff having some real big issues here with Bowser. Some significant issues with. Oh no! Only Bowser only does it once, right? Uh no. So every time you try to walk. Oh. Every time yeah. you try to walk through Bowser when you are damaged and you mm. try to use your invis um Invisiframe, uh he will teleport. Sometimes yeah. if you just take a minute to grab it, it'll teleport. Yeah, oh well, I've seen it when he's taken a minute to grab. But yeah, when I was saying a Bowser fight separates these two, the gap has once again got a little bit bigger. Um, uh yes. But yes, for those of you wondering if you'd play on the Switch version, the only real big differences on the 3D All Stars is pole grabs and uh, you can't be LJ. But I believe the N64 expansion thing from their online subscription is exactly the same as emulating it. Well, as playing it on the N64. So just the controls are horrible on the Switch. And confirm. I, I have played through. I do have a 111.52 in 70 star. It took me nearly an, uh, almost two hours to do 70 stars in 3D All Stars. <laughs> but BLG, yes, it is banned in 70 star. In a clay 70. Oh no! Ooh, getting amped! Now, see, we do like to see that now because we're, we're, we're trying to make this race close, you know? Here we go. Oh, nice. Good Skeeter RNG from Doth there. Wow, Doth really loves Mario Camp. Hey, who doesn't love Mario Camp? Like, we're here for Mario. Oh yeah, and that the like little to no friggin' dead zone on the Switch mm -hmm. controllers. <laughs> well, I think playing any game with Joy Cons is a terrible idea. But oh, hundred percent agree. Um, I have, I I use a third party wired controller for the Switch. I don't even have a party wireless controller. All right, so both of these guys having. Um, clean 100 coin of secrets, apart from maybe a little ampage here and there. Nothing really too drastic. And this will put the runners at, again, somehow just still a one star difference. Yeah. Well, two stars. Now two stars. Because again, quicker star. Yeah. Absolutely. Rest of Wet Dry World is quicker star, so. Very, very true. So again, Oof. we'll see we'll see the difference converge when we go to THI, I think. Secrets yeah. can make or break a man. Or woman. <laughs> I mean quite literally we have seen Girl Man cry over this great game. Now it's usually due to a PB, but See, if, I, if I'm getting, like, a drastic PB, I actually have a, like, on a soundboard ready. That song, you know, Celebrate Good Times, come on. Oh, I have okay. that, and then I get up and dance. Um, <laughs> without fail. Uh, I haven't had to use I... it in a very long time. <laughs> uh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what? You could have used it on a uh, Peggle run that you did recently. You know, I could have used it today. I got world record today. Oh? Yeah, in a in the randomizer set C danger non-stop because there's no runs on the leaderboard. Oh. <laughs> so how is that? Uh, terrible. Hey, Candy's happy with those secrets. That hey, was a fist what? pump up in the air. Clean secrets is always enjoyable. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.
yeah, it was it was wonderful. Um, I loved every moment of it. Um, so if I go back in the VOD, you're not going to be, you know, cursing it out? No, no, no. I actually, like, made a, a proper route for, route for it as well because it was set C. And I wouldn't have done this. So the reason I'm bringing this up here is we've also had our randomizer here on CCG. Um, and had it not been for CCG, I would have never realized randomizer was, you know, a viable thing to do. So it shows just how easy, just if you guys are here and anyone watching, whether you be watching live on Twitch or on YouTube and, um, you know, you're seeing this and thinking, oh my God, goodness, this looks crazy. It's actually really viable and simple to be able to get into. So please, if anyone is interested in learning on how to run these games, we have a great open community um, across the SM64 community. So please get in touch with someone. I'm sure they'll be happy to help or put you in the right direction to someone to help you if you would like to learn how to run this game. Because who knows, if the next time we have an open, your name could be the one on the screen and you could be the one running. And I will say this now because I can't stress this enough. Do not be afraid to ask a top runner for help as well if you feel like you're not getting, you know, enough of an understanding from oh! another runner. Doff taking a bonk, Ooh. going in the drink, recovering nicely. Very, very nicely. But yes, top runners are more than willing to help here in this community. I feel like in a lot of communities that's the case. I never really met a top runner who is like a jerk. Hmm. That's just me personally, though. I mean, no, it's fair. But yeah. <laughs> okay, mountain clip one clean mountain clip um how do i play sm64 ds um on a nintendo ds um yeah i don't know our knowledge ends right there yeah our knowledge ends on the ds <laughs> but again the sm64 ds does have their own community as well it is yes most there is a lot of overlap but not in this instance yeah but yeah if you want to know um there is a place to go feel feel free to message uh, message me um, yep. And I'll find I'll find the resources for you. Not a problem at all. Yep. And uh, you know, if you're you know pretty admin on learning it as fast, you know, if you don't want to wait like two hours, uh, <laughs> uh, but uh, you can just go to speedrun.com and in the search bar in the top right, and I believe it, you'll see a little magnifying glass if you are on the phone. Oh, Catnik with the back up there, nearly dying on the red coin star. Oh my this is the goodness! First time I've seen anyone actually hit that wall kick and not bonk to their death. yeah. But yes, if you go to speedrun.com and just use the search bar or the little magnifying glass on phone, you can uh, search the you, game. You could just search up Super Mario 64 DS, and all the resources will be listed there. There is a resource tab in which you can click on in order to access all the resources and the information you need to get started. Oh, Doff having a good mounting clip there as well. Unfortunately, taking a burn. And yes, there's also a guides tab too. That way you can start learning the routes. Okay. What's this? One and... Yeah, this is just over a one-star difference at the moment. Cat and knee. Getting the cl jump, the click, the click, clack, clack, click, clam. Getting off the, the log. log. Getting the long jump wall kick off the log there. Thank you very much for that. <laughs> I, I wanted to interrupt, but I kind of wanted to see where that was going. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a long day uh, in the commentary booth here at CCG. <laughs> Did they make a random for D? I don't believe they have done that yet. I could be wrong, though, so do not quote me on that. Uh, don't quote me on a lot of the things I say. I tend to be wrong in the end. Uh, so... Okay, Catney was able to pull that off on the box jump. Two star difference at I'm the moment. Even, I'm not even kidding. That box jump is the most terrifying thing in Tall Tall Mountain. I spent yeah. an hour and a half on that on that star alone to get it down because I've lost so many runs to it. Oh, See, Doff that... getting the quick, quick grab. Yeah, and also as well. So this is the thing. So Catnik went for the thing where the first jump went off of the wall to put them on the angle, whereas Doff just went, nah, I'm just going to grab the box and go for it. And it's scary. Both versions of that is scary. Yeah. Or you could say neither are consistent. But when you spend an hour and a half practicing it, you realize it's consistent. You just suck. Um... <laughs> 
Okay, let's see how red coins goes for Doff here. And again, Snowman's Land, there isn't that much that can go drastically wrong here. Like, movement errors. So again, um, Doff's chance of catching up is not going to be until HMC, finally. Getting some pretty good head there from Cat. Love to see it. Not the best head, but it's still good head. Yeah. We appreciate seeing some good head here at CCG. Neither runner going for Breezeless here. Um, I don't know how I feel about this, but I, I, I'm, I'm sure. I, I guess I'll allow it. You know, I always say Swag Strats win in the end for me, so. Oh, wait. It's. Oh! Okay, Katnik, right. not a base TTC 100 enjoyer. I'm okay with this. I'm okay with this. As long as they're yeah, a TTC 69er. As long as they're a TTC 69er, that's all I really worry about in this instance. Uh, you know, see, that's where our opinions differ, I think, you know? I mean, I always say, you're entitled to your own opinion. It doesn't mean it's right. Well, mm, I think I think we're all in agreement, though. We no, None of us get towed before Rainbow Ride, right? No one does that. Wait, that, people do that? Zeus. <laughs> Wait, that's a thing? Zeus did it in the race, yeah. Every race. All right, I've just so blown Shai's lead mine. This is, this is my <laughs> retirement from CCG. Hope you all love me. Uh, I'm going to leave. Yeah. Obviously, completely kidding. I am not leaving until after the race, at least. Yep. Uh, Doff is going for... There we go. Nice. Oh, that was a lot cleaner than Katnik's version. That was. Mm. Oh, never mind. Um... Even with the secondary <laughs> ground pound, still is. Yeah. And the remaining stars for both these runners are very quick. Very, very true. Uh, I don't know if Doff... Did Doff do... Doff hasn't done red coins yet, so... That's going to be the slow one here. That's why their star count seemed quite similar, because Doff hadn't done red yet. That makes a lot more sense now. Oh, Doff also not doing TCC one? Oh, yeah, both Dang. of these runners are sl 53 s so this is my retirement from CCG. Um. <laughs> All right. Catnik is going to be going to HMC. The haziest of caves. Um. First, they've got to grab Mips. Not punch Toad. Oh, no. Wholeheartedly punch Toad right in the face multiple times <laughs> as hard as possible i i want to see some you know muhammad ali level socking to the face on tokyo you want to see tears coming out of toad's face uh there shouldn't be tears if he's unconscious <laughs> um, I, I want Toad out for the count. You know, do not resuscitate level uh, threat right there. Why not talking to Toad? <laughs> I do. I enjoy myself some Toad abuse though. So. Ooh. Diving a little late there, or a little early, I mean. I'm back. Uh, I need to take a moment. Oh! Oh, Doff went to go for a punch grab, but was nowhere near close enough. I actually just don't think they had the momentum there. Probably not. Um, no. Very, very sad to see. The um, so this is where we see the second pillar list. Um, <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Can't neat look like uh, he's about to take a long jump over to the uh, boulders. <laughs> okay, here we go. Two star difference. This makes sense now. 
I'm um, going into HMC. I believe. Wait, do we get toad abuse from Dolph? I don't think so, no. Oh. Is Christmas you know coming what? back? Christmas confirmed. Yes. Yeah. Well, half. Half confirmed. Because well, we get Christmas two... Eve. We don't know if we get Christmas Day yet. Yes. We got Christmas Eve, but Christmas Day is the most important here, and we're about to find out. That was a really good angle. That was. Oh, no Christmas Day, chat. Hope you haven't got anything planned for gifts. If you do return them, or keep them if they're a gift that you would like to. It's a gift to yourself, I guess. If anyone in chat says they don't buy a gift for themselves every once in a while, they're lying. I don't, because any gift for me turns out to be video game or computer related, and it just, it's a gift for the community, let's face it. Speaking of communities, uh, both uh, the runners and the comms have communities of their own if you would like to follow them. Yeah, and also as well, CCG does have a Discord. Um, so if you want to keep up to date on all the announcements going on of events that might be coming up, or even just cute pictures of cats. Um, I post pictures of my cat on there regularly when I can. Other people do as well. You can join the Discord with that link. I'm not gonna, I think that's the first time I've ever seen the Discord plugged. Which is also calling myself out. <laughs> right, tippy time! <laughs> oh, Katnik taking the breath. The triple jump. There it is! Oh, we got, oh, we got two back to bounce. That was really far away, jeez. Okay, no connects. Oh, beautiful! Nice. Now, can Cat finish it off nicely here? Yeah. I think Cat thought about going for the jump kick and then uh, mm -hmm. realized it was probably not the uh, safest option there and just ended up ledge grabbing. Yeah, see that cheer that came from Cat Neek there? Just overly happy to get that first time. Ooh. Yeah, Dolph waited a little bit too long to start going for that uh, double jump and ended up getting smacked in the face with a boulder. Hey, everyone, every, you know, everyone's gotten hit by a rock. Oh, oh, no. Oh, okay. It's fine. That bomb is out for blood. Yep, that bomb did not want to have any part of uh, Mario's life apart from the end. Uh <laughs> Missing that second red coin. Okay, red coins is going to be the more difficult one for Cat and Eek here. After completely crushing it with the cruiser. There's always something in Rainbow Ride. There is always something in Rainbow Ride. Yes. Alright. Does finish nicely though. All right, another triple jump here. Let's see how it goes. Okay, nice connected. We're going for another lack of two bounce. It's not going to connect. Oh. That was probably the weirdest bonk I've ever seen. The angle was just wrong. But it wasn't by much, but it was enough. Another triple jump here. Two more stars for Cat Neek. Four more for Dolph. Yeah. Particularly I must say, the red... Long one. The red coins there, getting that second red coin is always... I think that's the most difficult one to get. You can find them pretty tricky sometimes. I can agree with that comment. Especially if you're going for, like, the backflip into the wall. Because it's almost like Mario just doesn't want to do that backflip or that side flip. Wait, side note while we're uh, doing this. So, I'm a very indecisive person. Anyone who knows me can confirm that quite clearly. Um... However, I was asked by my mother what kind of cake I wanted for my birthday, and I'm having troubles. Any suggestions? Oh, cake suggestions. That's... Hmm. Here we go. I mean, a regular chocolate fudge cake with a white chocolate icing filling is normally quite nice. Okay, preferably whoa, one whoa, that's not going to cost whoa. an arm like. Cat Neek is a TTC 70 runner. You'll have to I, see it. I hate to see it. Uh, well. 
All right, so we're going to have uh, Mr. Wall removed from the comms link uh, when you do the command. Uh, <laughs> oh, hold up. Oh, nice movement here from Doff. Taking... Uh, where are you going, Doff? The Very longest possible now. way to swinging in the breeze possible, I guess. Yeah. I just said possible twice. Lovely. Yeah, it might be possible that you said possible twice. Um, I believe that's a plausible thing that you could have possibly said. Kill attack. <laughs> Is this how Z felt earlier? <laughs> I've chosen violence today and I don't know why. Ah, <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> oh. I've, uh, yeah. Oh, Hull's no. got it earlier. Z got it earlier. You're getting it now. Uh, oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I'm, I'm for it. I, I love the banter. I love when we can crack jokes in the booth like this. Oh, tricky triangles for Doff. Choosing to be just slightly a little bit tricky, but not tricky enough for it to fail. I don't think I'm going to be able to say that again. I <laughs> yeah, say that five times fast. <laughs> that three oh, times fast. <laughs> Katni went for flippies and it just didn't happen and now takes the double bonk death. Which is unfortunate because guess where Doff is? In TTC. TTC, I know. Also, TTC 69 enjoyer. Which I'm, I, I'm all for. I'm all for a TTC 69er. So we can now confidently... Oh, Katnik going for flippies and failing again. We can now... And taking the same bonk death! The exact same death! Take your time, Cat. It's not that deep. <laughs> I like how you say, take your time. We're in TTC! Exactly. <laughs> Ooh. Okay, interesting. Top stomp on the plump. And uh, he's going okay. Katnik is going for those moving bars. I can never remember the name of the star. Um, um time, moving bars, time, time, moving bars. Time I just moving called bars? it. I I just time jumps on moving bars. I knew time jump jumps on moving there. bars. Uh. I was time jumps on like crushing the... my soul is what I call it. Um, <laughs> oh, Doff with the flippies. Getting... Giving nice flippies there. Mm. Flipping off all over the place. Uh, I hope not. This is CCG. It's PG here. <laughs> Alright, two stars left. No, three stars left for Katnik. And four stars left for Doff in TTC. It's a slight meltdown from Cat. Me and Doff getting those flippies quite nicely. Mm. Doff is, uh, you know, pretty solid with the flippies. Cat Neek is uh, struggling with the flippies, though. Yep. Do you know what? Fair Cat play taken. to Cat Neek for being consistent. Cat Neek is consistently trying. But it does now put them in a situation where both have three stars left to gain in TTC. True. It has gotten a lot closer. Oh, no. Oh, no flipping. Oh, no! <clears throat> Sorry. <clears throat> Can't need taking a death there. Well, this can give Doff the lead that is needed. Can't need to learn to just go in stopped at this point. Or not. Okay, still choosing to go to the game. Going for them flippies one more time. Let's do it! I mean, there it really is! Really... All hey, right, can we get Kakenik. some drakes in the chat? No, don't worry about the drakes in the chat. Um, <laughs> no. At this point, the game... The lead, technically, is with Doff. Yes. Because uh, Getnik still has a three. Well, Doff only has a two. Yeah, and because Toadstar is so quick, we will count this as a lead for... Uh, Do you never know? Doff could have a little breakdown themselves right now. Right here, right, right now. Who so knows? we're going to disqualify Katnik simply for the fact that uh, Kat decided to do uh, reds first. No, I, I think in this situation, they want to make sure they're going in moving at that specific angle. They took a death, so going in stop, they do a star stop. It makes perfect sense. That, uh, yeah, you know what? When you explain it like that, that does make sense. Flippies! Flippies! 
as Doff goes in to do reds. Yeah, Doff on their final star now. Now, if I was Katnik, I'd almost forget about doing flippies here, and I would just go in at whatever it is, and I wouldn't take the red coin route, and I'd just take the long way round. I will say this, it's really not that much slower if you get some fast food. Yeah. Oh no. Oh, Doff. Okay. <laughs> I saw that angle to the left, and I thought it was just soaring past. Ooh, okay, man. it's tied. Oh, wait, no, I think Cat's in the lead. It is. Oh, yeah, no, because there's still going to be the text box for 70 stars, isn't there? And there it is. Okay, yeah, so Cat is just in the lead here. Only just. Chat, it's neck and neck. Both of these runners have done some amazing backups, some amazing movement, and it's all going to boil down to how their movement is in the final Bowser stage. Bowser in the sky, or as we know and love it, bits. Because we all know that this stage can have our runners falling to bits. Yeah, very true. Yeah. Can confirm I looked it. <laughs> and the one thing any Mario category has in common, for the majority of them anyway, is this is the one stage that no one can avoid. Yeah, no, true. Look at that clean movement there. Oh. Game standing left side. This has gotten even closer, chat. Technically, Doff taking the lead by a half a sec to a second. The lead has increased because Katnik has fallen on the Binny Pyramid thingy checkered platform stuff. I just call them the spinning platforms. <laughs> <laughs> it's coming down to Froze. Throw number one from Doff. It connects. Nice. Nice re grab. Re -grab. For number two, it nice. connects. And a re-grab. For nice. number three, it connects. For number one from Katnik, good, but no re-grab. Okay, so uh, Katnik in the lead since, like, CCM. Yeah. And just or has no, a full breakdown. World. Yeah. Oh, no. And Doth losing more and more time at all those areas where I said they should be gaining time. But once again, it's all boiled down to Tippy. Don't tell me this was redemption mode. I will not tell you that, but um, I will tell you that if you don't think it is, you're mistaken. Oh, no. This is redemption road. Yes. Oh, um, that's so heartbreaking for Ken. Yeah, I know. Look, you can see it in her face. You can't even see her face. You see it. It's okay yeah. that it was very well played from both runs either way. Um, I mean, only 31 seconds separated them in the end. I mean, yes, similar different, you know, just slightly more than there is a difference in their PBs. So. Oh my gosh. Um, I believe we're getting both runners. Hello. Yep, here we go. Both runners are here for interview. We will start with you, Katni. Um, what happened, buddy? I uh, I failed flippers a whole bunch of times. Just extremely unusual for me. Yeah. Um, so uh, how, were you watching the race whilst you were running? Yeah, I knew I was pretty ahead. Yeah. Um, you could have like, bought it back as well, but then you obviously you fell down in bits. Oh my god! I know that. Oh, I got the invisible ceiling. Yeah, I think if you didn't have that fall in bits and that one missed throw on Bowser, you still would have won. So yeah, that's what yeah, it, that's how close you were. That's how close you were. Oh, but so Dolph. freaking close. Oh my gosh. So close. dang it. Listen, everybody. Dolph, <laughs> how you feeling? Oh, that was <laughs> that was probably my worst like um, early game. Like I got a thirty-one fire suit. <laughs> And I was I, just like, I basically gave up. I just like played the game. Like, I don't really care about the end result. And yeah. Uh. 
Yeah, well, you I did. Got, how many times did I die and freaking. That's my favorite stage, too. Oh, so TTC, so I'd like to point out you had two deaths that were exactly the same. You got the same angle on the pendulum by those stairs and bonked the same amount of time. You did that twice. Um, I should have just then taken took... my time with the backup. Yeah, and then you had the dive down as well, which made which we didn't notice, and then that happened. Um... The, the yeah. ledge grab onto the turning thing is what really made me mad. <laughs> I was like, no. Yeah, you had it, and then you just fell. I knew as soon as I, as soon as I long jumped, I knew I was dead from the angle. Uh, Shyson, what questions have we got for the runners? Um, I feel like you covered the very important questions. Um, <clears throat> I guess I can ask a uh, Doff. Uh, Obviously, you did end up winning today. Moving on, um, how are you feeling going into the rest of this tournament after today? Um, I definitely have to practice more, and yeah, I did just it was just a really bad. I I died so many times, and it was like a really like long death, and that was yeah almost cost me the the game. Yeah, I I didn't die till. TikTok clock. Yeah. Which yeah. I was also, sh I, shocked about. I guess uh, for uh, Katnik, uh, you have some uh, newfound time, unfortunately being eliminated from the tournament, which is always unfortunate to see and uh, no. definitely definitely a hard one uh, to you know take in. But uh, what, what are you going to do to improve to maybe ensure that this won't happen again? Uh, I probably won't play it until next year's 70 star open. <laughs> you know what? I, I, that, I, I think that's that, good. <laughs> okay, so mental that, health That's pretty much what it, happened this time. I mean, like, I'm <laughs> Saren's my friend, so I always try to join his tournaments. Okay. Even though I haven't played in such a long time, like, <laughs> I'll get friends. some practice in. Uh, wow. Okay. Yeah. I see how it. I think that was a that was a big oh, okay. flex. That was a big flex on us. Just like Cat <laughs> like, yeah, I've got friends. <laughs> You're just commentators. <laughs> I only I only said one friend. <laughs> but yeah, thank you to both of you for taking part, Cat Obviously, we'll still see you in the chat. Um, it's great to have had you here. Well done on how you performed, anyway. Um, and Doff, obviously, you'll be going forward to the next matchup. You'll find out who your next matchup is at some point. Just so everybody watching knows, this is the end of all the round one matches. Um, everything is now in round two. So the loser's bracket now is in round two. Um, the winner's bracket is in round two. So all the round one matchups have been done. So we're getting a lot more content, a lot more Mario. And make sure you're following the runners, Katnik and Doff Daff. I think I said that right. Um... I did. And yeah, <laughs> check out the comms, check out CCG, check out the Pro League. Check, and check, we... check, out, check out the YouTube. Check out the YouTube as oh, well. Yeah, yeah um, we love you all. We've got another matchup coming up very shortly. That will be, if I remember correctly, that will be Hero versus Scythehammer. Um, again, I've probably butchered their names, but hey ho. It's uh, Scythehammer. Cyphema, there we go. So make sure you stay tuned. That's going to be coming up shortly. Catch you later, dudes.